Okay. This is the AFL SoCal Chaos D5 Race to Two match between Resonate and Tri Valley Toxic. I'm Tim Husen. I'm Michael Williams. And you are from the Kitty Asylum, Kitty uh, Bandits, Kitty Asylum for Techno right Kitty, Base Cannon. Which one? All of them. Kitty Asylum. They're all the same, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Uh, you know some of the guys on the uh, Tri Valley. Yeah, this is Tri Valley Toxic. They're a team from Northern California. Um, they practice at Midway Paintball in Vacaville. Uh, quick shout out to their sponsors. They're all shooting luxes out there. It's been <laughs> working out really well for them. Nice. They got uh, sponsored by AFPL, Dublin Spa Center, uh, right. NorCal Paintball. We got Resonate on the right, Tri Valley Toxic on the left. All right, four guns up for Tri-Valley Toxic. And Resonate had three at home, two at home, one at home. They all break out wide. Yep. Tri-Valley Toxic is all the way up into Snake 3 now. And they uh, they won the uh, race to three yesterday. Yep. They took they first. They really well. They played real well yesterday. They didn't drop a match. They went three wins, one tie in prelims. Uh, Dane and Bobby pulled off an insane two on four. I saw that. And it was it was outstanding. Yeah, that They've was putting in work, and they're Saturday crew, so they don't practice on Sundays with like hustle or classic when they're out at Midway. But I mean, sorry, uh, works well for them. Resonates losing their home player. Charvelli Talk is moving up the Dorito side a little bit. Dorito one, Dorito Temple. Got David at 50. And oh, he's snake. he's going past. Uh, he's going all the way up to Snake Two, Snake One. He's gonna come run this guy down in the Snake Insert. Oh, got him. Oh, damn. A little bit ruthless. <laughs> Jacob's rolling his gun. I think he got shot by his own teammate. <laughs> Not sure what's going on. They're a little confused. Gotta clear those bodies. This guy's going all the way around the snake corner. <laughs> okay. All right, so how did you uh, hook up with Techno Kitty? Um, I know Zach and Michaela and okay. Kyle Melander. They're yeah. all from my area. Um, I'm playing uh, WC PPL with uh, Michaela and Zach. Uh, cool. For a couple of edge DMG. Um, so you're from up north also. I'm from up north. Awesome. Uh, home field uh, Midway Paintball. We got a lot of good ballers coming out of there. Nice. So, uh, what have you played Red Zone before? Played Red Zone before. Uh, first time was at Havoc 3. Uh, oh, cool. Played with NorCal All Stars. <coughs> Um, we had some pretty good uh, players on there. Aaron Smith brought it together. We had Neil Everly from Excessive from way nice. back in the day. Nice. We had Ryan from Desta. I was on there. Andrew Wynn, Evan McArdle, Billy Bristol. Um, it was good. Um, we got second. I had a kind of controversial call yeah. at the very, very end. But I mean, <laughs> that was my first experience with it, and I loved it. Is that your first uh, AFPL event? That was my first APL event. Oh, as well. cool! So I started with Red Zone, and the next one I went to Havoc Four, and I played Red Zone there. All right. Uh, and I also played D5, and it was both on the same day. So I was pretty gassed at the end of the day. All right, Toxic comes out with that same four guns up, and Resonate's got two now, one at home. They delayed a guy at home. Five alive for both teams. No, nope. Tri Valley Toxic lost their Dorito side player. And oh. ref's coming in to check that center Dorito. Let's see what he says. Call him clean. 
Resonates moving up the snake side a little bit. They got a snake one. Snake Temple's moving up into the pins. Their snake one player just gets gogged. Oh. Very risky playing that pin out there. Not much coverage. Oh, but he managed to... Uh... He's doing some work there. Oh, yep. Caught him. Uh, looks like it might be a 2-1-2. Two -two. Drive out Toxic has both towers. I only see the snake tower for Resonate. And Tri-Valley's moving up here into the pins. Oh! I think he got bounced in the head. Calm and clean. Stay on him, just stay on him. Yep. Now he's out. Oh no, no. Down to a one -on -one. I think he's going to get him though because he doesn't know where he's at. He doesn't know where he is. Just stay on him. Oh yeah. Ooh, got him. Good move. Tri Valley Toxic is gonna wrap this up. Two zero. All right. So, what do you think about these new bunkers for this event? I like them. I like them, and I like to see all the sponsors on there. Looks all like we of got them. under Tri Valley Toxic has their little. Uh, they got one. They got APX Paint, Vanguard MMA, PS Photography. I see like the Snake Corner Bunker's got Rico Suave's face <laughs> on it. That's cool. That is awesome. So, yeah, Arabs did a killer job. Yeah. They knocked it out. Yep, John really knows how to put on an event. John knows how to put on an event. All right, so uh, Tri-Valley Tox is going to take that 2-0. That's awesome. They're doing good. They're carrying it over to today. Yep. So, uh, you know, everybody take these videos and share them. You know, help grow the sport. Send them around on the oh, internet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Put them on your Facebook. I'm showing my coworker, and he's like, every time I go to an AFPO event, he's like, all right, let me see the videos. I was like, you got to wait a little bit. They got to be processed. Yeah. But, I mean, he enjoys watching Red Zone. You know, he doesn't really care for the race to do. But, I mean, Red Zone just seems like it's more of a spectator friendly. Yeah. You know? All right. It's exciting. I'm Tim Huser. I'm Mike Williams. What happened? Well, I went into the pit and uh, I saw I saw Job's Pringles right there, and I was like, man, Job's a schmuck. I'm gonna eat all his Pringles. <laughs> Job's a schmuck. I'm gonna eat all his Pringles. Just wait till he hears me.